Good afternoon, guys. Welcome back. Gigi here. How we doing? I hope you're well. I hope this video finds you to ha be having a great day. Thank you so much for joining me. We're going to jump in, see what spirit has for us. We have a little visitor. His name is Poncho. He's my friend's dog, and I'm babysitting for a little while. He's a little doppelganger of my little Loki. So if you see him happen to jump up on the table while I'm reading these cards, like, that's that's who this is, because he's a little puppy and he's rambunctious. So we're just wanted to give a little disclaimer before I jumped in. So, again, I hope you guys are doing well. Let's just jump in and see what Holy Spirit has to say today. Holy Spirit. Please come down with your angels, my ancestors, loved ones, and spirit guides that have ascended to your highest white light to protect and guide me through this energy reading for our collective. Holy Spirit, please allow me to channel clear, honest, and precise messages for our collective. And please, Holy Spirit, cast all evil and darkness and anything that may linger that's not of your purest white light back to where it comes from tenfold. Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay. So we're going to get the described descriptive cards. Let's start there. Holy Spirit, what's going on for the collective energy today? What is the energy that's being that's surrounding the collective? What is the energy that is surrounding the collective energy today? All right. What is the message, Spirit? Something about investment. Somebody wants to invest in somebody's spiritual gifts. Possibly a business professional. There's an investment coming towards somebody here in the collective. Either an investment of time, money, effort something collaborative, some kind of collaborative investment, something to help a high priestess. All right, what else? Excuse me. Stay. Okay. Poncho, get out from under there, please. Come on, come on. Over here, over here, over here, over here. Go into bed. Go into bed. Lay down. Lay down, relax. Take a pill. Just settle down, cuteness. Hi, dude. Okay, sorry. Cute little dog at uh, at 9 o'clock over here. <laughs> All right, what else? Okay. Party animal. The mindset that they think that you may be in or were in. No, no, currently in. Wanting to party and BS. Pot putzing around, thinking that you're too busy gambling drinking partying when in reality they're focused on working towards a great achievement okay yeah yep they have no idea what's truly going on on your end yeah and they're in for a big surprise they're going to see how generous and kind you are. They're going to see how classy and elegant you are. They're going to see how much rapport you have with people in your community. See, they may know deep within themselves or they may know or have seen and experienced the potential you have as a business person. Sorry, it's like tending to a child. This little tiny dog is only eight months old. He's so cute. Anyway, okay. What else, spirit? They may have known about your past, thinking that it's still a big, you know, component of your present. No, awakened spiritually. Collective member is awakened spiritually, mentally, emotionally and opening themselves up physically to healing. They're not in this mindset anymore, whoever in the collective this is for. Okay. What else here, please? Okay. 
What else, spirit? Let's just do it like this. You're a hard worker. Okay. They may have seen it with your own eyes, their own eyes, excuse me. Going hand in hand with the generous and kind, being a lover, not a fighter. They're, they may be, I don't know, I see the word stalking, watching, I don't know. They see it somehow, and then I hear the train, of course. There's that spiritual journey on the bottom. Yeah, they want to get their, they want to put their hand in the pot that contains your talents, motivation, drive, and dedication. You're spontaneous. You like to dance free your free spirit wants to run on the beach hair blowing in the breeze traveling and enjoying life spiritual being getting in alignment with their chakras getting in alignment with their soul's purpose water pisces cancer and scorpio Yep. It's time for this person to revisit some feelings they may have had about you. Poncho! Come on. Come on. Come on up. All right. Sorry, guys. Hang on just a second. Come on, little one. Sit. Sit and stay. We're talking to the people. Yes, I know. I know. Okay. All right. So... All right, collective or spirit, what is the message, please, from the tarot? All okay. They have detached. They know and feel that you've detached from them as well. But they have a new plan. They have a new plan of action. They want they want to have success here this time. They're being they're focusing and they have they have a vision and they are focusing on that vision. They may want to come in with some truths about some things, you know, maybe apologize for some of the things that they've said. Apologize for missing an opportunity and wasting the time that they, they had with you. They, were, they had self-doubt. They may have thought that they really didn't meet up to your standards, that it was a game, game of who can do what for who, kind of like I can do it better, kind of like there was some comparison between the two. Yeah, they weren't, they weren't very open, and they were being very selfish, whoever this person is collective to you. They were selfish, acting entitled, and now they've, they've, they, I don't know, they want to come back and they want to collaborate somehow. But the thing is, is you may feel in your heart this person's fickle and all they have to do is turn just once to the wrong thing at the wrong time and that'll be the end of it. Separation permanently. Well... The thing is, is that there's going to be some good news when it comes to that collaborative connection. Yeah. They are going to be a big part of an abundance that's going to, that's meant to come towards you. Okay. Resigned to fate delegating wisely, wanting excessive control over other people's lives. You may feel like this person wants to entrap you and force you to live a life that they feel like is, is what they, what you, no, no, no. They, you may feel like they want to force you into a life that they want to see for you, not what you see for them or for yourself. Excuse me. Yeah. You may be a very independent person or working on being independent with a lot of boundaries. Okay. 
and this person may be like the king of swords on the bottom here okay they may have power and authority and they are more head over heart and unemotional more analytic you know and they give good advice i mean they we, the first card that came out when describing this person was a business professional so you know they may be able to offer you something that may be less emotional i'm seeing the word emotionless like they don't i don't know if they can handle a, a major tie because they're afraid of getting having a breakup that would tear them apart like they know deep down within themselves that this may just be a collaborative companionship that makes a lot of money together okay where there's similar interests that they're able to work together to accomplish so mm. hi sweetie yeah what else dude what else what do you think okay The thing is, is it's like the disappointment's what popped out. They fear having you disappointed in them on the bottom. They feel like if you become disappointed in them, there is not going to, either you are disappointed in them now, or if they, if you were to ever be disappointed in this person, it's like, it says here, someone with a fragile sense of identity and poor personal boundaries. They may have thought that was you at one point. Now they may very well see or sense the fact that you are in some serious boundaries. Like you ain't playing no games. You're not going to, you know, let people walk all over you. You're not hanging out with the wrong groups of people. Like you're setting yourself up for success one way or another with or without this person. Okay. Like you have a, a task in which you were handed from the most high and this person may have had a golden opportunity to have you in all ways, but they missed that opportunity. They may have had to face a tower. Okay. They may have very well been very quick and hasty about some decisions that they made. Oh, that spirit hit me right in the chest with that one. They made some very hasty decisions on how they treated you. What they said something to you that got you standing up, standing strong, squaring your shoulders, head up, shoulders back, and donning your divine armor saying, enough is enough, I have boundaries. That's how this person's, that, that's what's telling this person that you're, you're disappointed in them. You may have been disappointed in them. Feeling like time was wasted. The thing is, is whatever boundary you set with them, shook them. That song... Shut your mouth and rock me like a river. Yeah. that You rock this person like a damn hurricane. You got them to shut their damn mouth. I'm being told finally you got them to shut their damn mouth and show them exactly who you were. Cause a tower. Okay. You got some magical abilities. This person may know very well that you have. Some, we got emperor here. We got High Priestess here, and we got Seven of Swords and Strength, okay? You may have had it in your head this person was your emperor. They may show signs of stability, structure, all kinds of things, authority, ambition, fearlessness, focus, discipline, all of those things, just like the King of, of Swords here, but on a much higher level. You, however, are a very magical being, High Priestess. What do you got, dog? Hang on a second, folks. Let me pause this. Sorry. It's like I said. This is like dealing with a little baby. Get out of there. Get shoo, shoo, shoo. Okay. So. You may have seen them being sneaky sly. Being like in this Seven of Swords uh, energy. But Spirit saw them. And gave you exactly the opportunity you did not miss this opportunity that's fantastic you did not miss an opportunity to get up and stand your boundaries and show this person who the hell you were you found your inner strength you found your strength you tapped all the way into that strength and you stuck to it 
and that's what's blowing this person's mind but big you understand but big on the bottom we have a queen of pentacles that's not for this one shuffle again okay thank you spirit oh yeah when you stood in your boundaries and you didn't take this person's crap oh the tower done fell on their head Ooh, they missed that opportunity but big oh my goodness they missed out on a love opportunity that could have that could have been something great poncho what you doing dude yep oh well there he is again and I, well, that, I think that might have been the King of Pentacles. Any which way, patience and perseverance. That's what it was. You had the patience with, no, no, the perseverance. You were able to find your inner strength, develop the patience, the knowledge, the, the drive and the dedication that was that buried somehow deep down inside of you. And you were able to persevere. Time heals all wounds. And it definitely did for you, Collective. Now you're going toward, the, there's going to be an opportunity that's offered to you that's going to bring you some self-employment, building business, trade, all kinds of stuff. Developing some kind of something that's going to make you very happy. Along with possibility of joining in some kind of collaborative endeavor with your twin. Reunion, celebration, surprises, parties, events, feeling welcome. Community, community or family coming together, community spirit, teamwork, success, and prosperity. Like, there's so much that's going to come from this. And it's going to happen within divine timing. And it's all because justice is being served. 11, 11, 11, or excuse me, 11. I saw the two, uh, the two, uh, the four of wands, and it was just like 11, 11, and then 11. Lots of wands here. Anyway. This is all going to put things into balance. And this person had to go through this tower because of what they did and how they treated you for being hasty with somebody that might be cutthroat. Okay. The thing is, is that now is the time for you to stand up yourself and clear about your want, be clear about your wants and needs. You already were on the nose big time. That was the boundary. You put your foot down, said your piece, and let it be done. The person made a very hasty choice. They made a quick decision. They had an attitude. They were nasty, probably saying some really nasty, hurtful things. And now they had to go through what they went through to get to where they are now. And now they're hopeless. They're in despair. They're lacking, you know, they, they're bored. They miss you. They want to be a part of this Ten of Pentacles that involve you. They want to celebrate with you. They want to travel with you. They want to be a part of your life. It's like when Ariel is singing about wanting to be a part of Prince Eric's world. Yeah, that's what's happening here. They, they Damn. Ten of Cups. They want to have a hap They want happiness with you. They want family. They want a happy family. They want some kind of reconciliation with you. They want to be able to co collaborate with you. I cut the deck right. Oh, and then underneath all that is the Temperance. They recognize who you are. You are somebody that is a balance, that's balanced and peaceful. You know, and they want to collaborate with you. They want to collaborate with somebody that's a high priestess with true magical powers. further thank you oh boy their world is upside down oh i get the i get the gist of what's happening their world is upside down that tower this those hasty quick decisions yeah they got involved with somebody a seductress and now they're falling apart Losing a lot of money, maybe, or losing a lot of time when they could have been spending it with you. Healing from some kind of traumatic experience. So, yeah, they, they see you as their person. They're regretting what they did. Final messages, cards. Do you want the Divine Circus? No, which is... So, so, 
sacred rebels. Okay, sorry. I was just seeing what Spirit wanted for me for the last few cards for this reading because little baby Poncho's parents are coming to get him. So I got to make sure I'm done and ready for when they show up. All right. So final messages for this reading. The ancestors have some wisdom for this person. For the person that done did you dirty collective. Track down your fears and your desires. Once you've tracked down what your fears are and being shown rejection amongst other things, you need to get those in check. Figure out what your desires are. Get those in check. And when you come about going towards the collective, be graceful in your actions and your movement. Be fearless and stand strong about what you want and what your intentions are. Because the thing is, if you don't, Whoever this person is coming, that's coming towards the collective, if they don't, there is going to be a door shutting in, somebody, not slamming, but being shut in somebody's face saying, thank you, but no thank you. Be gone. No. You're forgiven. I just don't want nothing to do with this. 21 on the uh, timer. Whoever this is needs to come in correct. Come in correct. Slow and steady wins the race. Don't don't have all your emotions out on the table. Set your sights higher. Don't just think about snoo snoo and love. Think about all the things that could be achieved between the two of you. And that's going towards whoever it is coming towards you collective. They need to set their sights higher and think bigger. And if, lo if the love guardian here, the heart guardian here is actually uh, around when all this comes down... And love is there. Let yourself be loved by this person, Collective, if your heart's really, truly there. I mean, the twin the twin flame card came out. You got the twins over here with the lovers, some Gemini energy. I mean, we got a lot of stuff out here to indicate that this person is your person, okay? They they done, they done, had a, they done did a boo-boo. They done acted like a jerk. They did something stupid, and now they got to come and reconcile. They have the cojones to do it? I don't know. I guess only time will tell. 2222 on the timer. So anything else? Not right now. I, I Like I said, I have my friends coming over to collect their dog. So I've got to get going. So thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, angels, ancestors, loved ones, and spirit guides for coming through. I appreciate and love you all. Thank, I close this reading. Thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate your love and support. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And until next time, peace.